Outrage from some of golf's biggest stars confronting PGA Tour Commissioner Jay Monahan Tuesday, hours after that stunning decision and deal between the tour and the Saudi-backed breakaway Live Golf was announced. Many of the players saying that they learned about the new partnership in this deal on social media. They got no warning. And it's been in the works for the last seven weeks puts a stop to all the antitrust lawsuits involving Live Golf. This new entity has not been named and the financial terms not disclosed. But boy, is it causing some ripple effects. I want to bring in Jim Nugent now, founder and publisher of the Global Golf Post. Uh, thanks for being with us this morning, Jim. I want to play for folks at home uh, the commissioner saying pointedly about players who joined the Live Golf League. This was about a year ago, his comments on this. And I would ask, you know, any player that has left or any player that would ever consider leaving, have you ever had to apologize for being a member of the PGA Tour? Well, now Jay Monahan is saying we have a responsibility to our tour and to the game. What changed here, Jim? Well, Jay was quick to acknowledge that circumstances change. Uh, when he made that statement last summer, I, I believe that he, he ferv fervently believed uh, in what he was saying. But this, uh, this, the legal case has become very, very expensive. It looks like it's going to drag on for several more years. Um, legal fees are not sponsorable. MasterCard's not Lauren. stepping up to pay the PGA Tour's legal fees. Lauren. Something had to give, and I think that that was a crux, one of the, the important aspects of this uh, new agreement. So as I'm hearing, the players are in Oakdale right now. There was a players meeting, and there are calls for Jay Monahan to resign. Is that going to go anywhere? I don't think so. The new board, when it's constituted, are people that uh, have worked alongside Jay. Uh, they've got his back. They're going to protect him. Keep in mind that the players that are in Canada, these are not top-tier players for the most part. Roy McIlroy is there and a handful of others. This is the class of PGA Tour player who is gen generally disgruntled and doesn't have a lot of uh, respect for Jay Monahan to begin with. So the call for his resignation comes as no great surprise. Well, I'm glad you brought up Rory, Rory McIlroy because he is maybe the most negatively impacted by this. He was the strongest um, advocate for the PGA. He came out fiercely against Live Golf for all of the reasons, criticizing players like Phil Mickelson and Brooks Kepka for taking hundreds of millions of dollars, saying basically money can't buy you everything, and, and he focused on golf. Well, he lost out here, right, on potentially hundreds of millions of dollars himself. Can that trust be rebuilt? We still haven't heard from him. Uh, we'll hear from him today. He's speaking to the media in uh, 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 Canada. Uh, yeah, I, I think one of the things that's going to come about in this definitive agreement, some of these players that passed up these riches are going to be made whole or close to whole. Uh, and Roy's one of them. He, he went to bat for the PGA Tour and for Jay Monahan. He passed up a lot of money. Somehow they're going to find a mechanism to uh, satisfy him. I think he'll be on board with Jay and the PGA Tour as, as he has been from the beginning. Phil Mickelson, $200 million in a signing deal with Live Golf. Um, is this vindication for him? I'm afraid that Phil's taken victory laps um, uh, right now. Uh, it is a bit of vindication for him. Um, but Phil is 53 years old. Uh, he's really not competitive to speak of anymore. I think you're going to gradually see him leave the stage. With his uh, buckets and buckets of money. All right, Jim Nugent, uh, thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.